Well, this week we're at the Lincoln Auction Rooms with William. Uh, we're talking fine art and affordable pictures, and what a collection again this time. Yeah, nearly 500 lots for you. And we're starting, I've brought you here so we can start with the sale. Uh, lot one is the Jay Park, 20th century British art artist. Um, well known for harbour scenes, estimate two to three thousand. Wow. Uh, for that to give you an idea. Uh, local artist Robin Wielden, he's based up in Waddington near Lincoln. Uh, and these country scenes, um, the Eames there are dogs. Another dog picture here. Uh, this is by another uh, local artist on it. He works up, up uh, near Mark and Moore on the A1. Um, John Trickett uh, showing there. Uh, William Logstyle is a Victorian artist. Uh, he's got works in the, the Usher Art Gallery. Um, so again, well-known recorded artist. And that's just the start and goes all the way through. Um, from here, I put lot seven um, because there's quite a lot of portraits you work, which I'm going to we show you. We have got a lot, haven't we? Yeah. It's a pensive fisherman. It, he's, he's worried about something. He I think is. He, I think he might have lost his boat. But, <laughs> you know, that is the beauty of, of portrait you work. So he's you lost want... more than his catch, hasn't he? I think there's something, something definitely missing there. But we talk about portraits, and as we carry on our walk through, we've got a huntsman here uh, looking very noble on the horse. Yeah, this is a friendly picture. Uh, all in canvas, traditional one. There's some good r records on this, uh, and a very good, solid, classical picture. Um, Again, I know we said this last time when you were having the art sale that uh, you know you're extending it. You seem to be going into room after room. We've got various bits and pieces here. Uh, another portrait up here. What about this young lady who we're looking at behind us? Yeah, that's uh, Darby of Wright. So a well-recorded artist, and again a thoughtful picture of a young maiden looking wistfully into the water jug. <laughs> Let's go into the main sale room because you've got portraits galore here, including a, a semi-nude I'm looking at at the top here. Yeah, 20th century, classical. So we, I've still sort of brought you along here that we're now into the lot 60s uh, throughout the sale. So um, on this one, there's a later one there. So that's a classical figurative nude. Um, We've got this portrait at work here. I think this lady has got something on her mind as well. Very, very, very stern look. Uh, this gentleman here, I don't know if he's got anything in his mind, but I think he's got... Or something in his hand, a glass or something. Yeah, he's looking well. <laughs> um, all of this, um, this portrait should 19th century. I don't um, think I'd want that on my wall. He's got, he's got he's a bit scary look, isn't it? He has, very yeah. scary look. Um, a very thoughtful maiden here. Um, just holding the, the, the nest with the chicks. Um, this one, I think, is very atmospheric. It's a Hungarian 20th century artist, and, and he's in that impressionistic mood throughout of, of this, this fruit market. Yeah. I love it. What I love about it is you look at it, but you're immediately drawn to her face, aren't you? There are sort of three main characters in this one. I think it's very, very stylistic, is that it's art, art impressionistic all the way around, but the focal is on the three um, faces there, each one with the, with the detail coming out. So it gives it a, a, a very, very, very wonderful stylistic quality to it. You need a fairly big house to take this one though. This is more traditional, isn't it? And I think this gentleman probably did have a big house. <laughs> he's Victorian, uh, so he's had his portrait uh, done and he's looking very pleased for himself, isn't he? He is indeed. I love this though, to round off, because you're immediately drawn to the eyes, aren't you? Well, I'm not an expert at uh, painting, but this is taking in some, some classical techniques of, of light and dark, and it draws you in uh, straight into the eyes. And little bits of white there just gives you that focal point and draws you straight in to what is looking a very thoughtful gentleman. Indeed, if you'd like to know more, go to the website goldingyoung.com.